Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys some world record Gale gameplay. Now I know you guys want to see some of that Gene gameplay, but I feel like I've given you guys a lot of Gene over the past two and a half weeks. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a break from it. We're definitely going to hop into a Gene video sometime tomorrow, but at least for today, we're going to show you some really, really good Gale gameplay. Now Danny, who is the new Gale world record holder, was kind enough to send us a bunch of gameplay of him in Heist and in Siege. So we're going to review some of those games. We're going to talk about what he did good with Gale if anything what he can do better I don't know I haven't seen the gameplay yet but I'm assuming if he's a world record holder he did things pretty well we're gonna show you guys the gameplay we're gonna show you guys the best brawler in the game currently and how to be good at it so that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up so hopping into the first game over here you guys are gonna see he's gonna be playing with Korea and Shadow Shot two other very good players so he's gonna put down a launch pad straight away for his bull now, reason being is so that his bull can obviously go up and do damage. His bull has an incredibly high DPS. Um, he's playing the mid role on this map. There was competitive on this map recently. I saw a lot of teams like Tribe Gaming and QLS both use Gale mid here, which shows that Gale is probably superior mid. As you guys can see, Danny took out the mids kind of easily with Gale. He does a really good amount of safe damage as well, which makes him really good. And he's also very, very good at defense. So you guys are going to see him spawn in shortly and defend this bull. His knockback obviously is probably the best part about him, where he can just stun players for a very long amount of time for whatever reason. And very easily, you guys are seeing he's able to take out that bull. Now he's going to use that launch pad that only he can put down, no other brawler can. He's going to go on the safe. He's going to try and make a play. If that bull wasn't immune, he would have been able to get the kill. He's not going to be able to, but Korea is going to go ahead and finish that. And let's hop into the next game and keep going. So here we hop into our second game over here. So again, obviously they're going to be running the same comp. They think this is the best comp in the game for this map. So they're going to be putting down that launch pad over there and they're going to be going in. Now you have Danny again playing that mid control, kind of just trying to defend as well as possible. He's facing double Colt, which is actually a very hard comp to beat because they just do so much damage. They counter the spike absolutely just melt the bull so it's very difficult for them to actually do anything but you guys can see danny's kind of 2v1 and doing things very easily and i'm not sure if he's auto aiming and all but just to be make this clear as i said in my previous gale video auto aim friendly brawler to the max you can auto aim basically all of your shots and everything's gonna go fine you don't have to worry about aiming basically at all you guys see they're able to go in do a little bit of damage and retreat danny's gonna go down as he was kind of just yoloing but he's gonna come back he's gonna grab that mid and he's not gonna use his launch pad you guys see he's not playing just very yolo he is the mid he's taking time with gale you don't want to just jump up because although he does a ton of damage he's not a bull you know he's not a shelly at close range so he's taking his time he's going up slowly and you guys can see really good gameplay from danny now he does get double full clipped by double coal which is probably the most toxic thing i've ever seen in my life but the bull is probably just going to jump forward. Danny's got that defense. As you guys seen, they've only been able to do 5%. Danny's going to get a double stun going over there. And they're probably going to end the game right here. So let's hop into the next game. All right, so here we go into the second game over here. And they're going to be going up against, I believe I saw a bull, but I'm not sure. Korea's going to be AFK at the start. Yes, a bull, a BB, and a Colt. So the bull noticed that they don't really have anyone defending right now. So he's just going to go up and try and do damage. He's currently doing so. Danny's holding down the mid right now. It looks like they're actually facing YDE. I'm not sure if this is the fake or real YDE. Um, we're just going to assume it's the real one. I'm not sure. Let's just say it isn't. Um, but anyways, he's going to be going up against comps that are very, very good and very strong. YDE put in that smiley face, whether it's fake or not fake. But anyways, you guys can see Danny's doing a really good job in mid. Super easy for him to win. He just pushes people back if they get anywhere actually close to him. And it's just a very easy lane win with Gale. Now, Gale obviously is a defender slash mid, so he's not going to go up and do damage when there is a Colt there. That did look like a double auto aim, so it looks like he got that auto aim just to kill the Colt really easily. He's doing safe damage while also hitting a charging bull, so he's getting some really good value out of that. He's going to miss that shot on YDE over there, but it doesn't really matter because, again, he's doing a really good job defending already. He's going to go up and just use his super. Unfortunately, he didn't get the BB onto the wall, but it doesn't really matter as he's able to get the kill. It looks like his bull is going to jump forward and they now have the mid control. They're going to ignore the Colt and it looks like they're just going to go in now. Danny's going to be able to get a super, push the BB away, and that is going to be the end of this game. All right, so here we go into our next game and it's going to be playing on Siege now. So we did face Danny actually on this map, which is pretty funny. While we were doing our gene push, we did barely win the game. It was very close, but we did win by like one bolt towards the end. So GG's there. But he's going to be going on lane over here with Gale. Now, Gale and Mr. P are probably the best lanes on this map. And it's just because it's so hard to beat them with everything they have. I mean, it, like, how do you defeat a Gale? You go close range, it does 1700. You go far range, it does 1700 or 1000. 
If you get too close, it's got that knockback. If it's too close and it'll beat you, then it's not going to use that knockback and beat you. It's a very interesting thing that's happening right now with Gale. Um, it's a very interesting part of the meta. Now, luckily, the gadget doesn't help in fights, although the launch pad is very, very OP, as you guys can tell from this gameplay that you guys have been watching so far. It doesn't help in the fights. It just helps with, you know, as you guys can see with Rinse, jumping forward. If it helped in the fights, Gale would literally be unbeatable when it just came to casual fights. So thank God that that's its gadget. But anyways, you guys are going to see Danny over here going up against this Brock. Not even close, like, at all. Danny's just going to chip away, do things. He might go down, actually, if he doesn't juke this. Okay, he didn't juke it, but he should have had that win. Danny, next time, juke that. But anyways, um, things are looking really good. Obviously, you guys saw really good defense from the Gale. And you guys are also going to see really good offense from this team. So you guys are going to see them going up. Again, this is... I haven't watched this gameplay yet. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm just assuming based off their team comp and by how overpowered Gale is, that it's just going to be really easy for them to do some work. So you guys are going to see they're going to be chipping away. Gale is doing a really thick amount of damage, if you guys can't tell. And Danny's actually aligning himself because the two side snowballs go past the siege bot. He's aligning himself so that both snowballs will go and hit other players rather than just hit him. So, or rather than just hit the Ike. So anyways, let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. All right, so hopping into our final game here, they're gonna be playing Gale, Mr. P, and Jackie on the most recent Siege map. And you guys can see Danny's just absolutely popping off to start off the game. They do jump and a, base, a jump pad is a guaranteed first bolt every single time unless you just don't jump on the bolt for whatever reason. But as you guys saw, they jumped on the bolt and Danny got a really quick and easy kill on the opponent. So they already have a really good start. They're going to be able to at least tie the first ball. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it there. Yeah, they're going to tie it. But Danny is holding down some pretty good stuff right here. Um, no one can really get close to him. And of course, he does have that knockback. He doesn't just want to randomly knock people back, though. He's waiting for them to get online with a wall. So as you guys can see, they, he gets stunned there and he can get that easy kill. And as you guys can see, Danny almost has his super back already. He did get it back. He did unfortunately go down, but really good start. And again, Danny can just jump in whenever he wants, which he is most likely going to do and not be out of battle for that long. He's going to come straight back into the action, which is extremely useful. And it's not just you that when I mean you, I say um, Gale. It's not just Gale that's going to be able to do that. It's every single brawler on your team which makes it just so broken. You can play a double tank Gale comp and just consistently cycle, cycle, cycle and always have something going on over there. So as you guys can see, Danny is very conservative with his super. He's able to get that Nita on that wall over there. He should be able to get that kill. He is going to be able to. And he's been doing a really good job at just holding mid control so far. Now they are losing seven to nothing or in bolts at least right now. And Tick just made it eight to nothing. So they do have to go for a kind of all in attempt. So we don't really know what they're gonna do here. I'm assuming they're gonna win the game because again, Gale does a ridiculous amount of damage and it looks like they are going to be able to and that looks like it's going to end it right there so anyways we have recorded this entire video within one matchmaking cycle we did start the video like 10 minutes into matchmaking we're still in matchmaking so who knows how much longer this is going to last but anyways that's going to be it today again thank you for danny for sending us those clips if you guys want to see some more gale gameplay definitely just let me know and we can review other top players gameplay such as that and show you guys what they did so well and how you guys can learn from them but anyways that's going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys didn't make sure to leave a like subscribe do everything as you guys already know that's going to be it i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace